Hello everyone, welcome to week 20. So see how time flies so fast. It has been already like 20 weeks that I am sharing my PhD experiences and it's going to continue till the end of uh, the final year as I've already said before. So it's a humble request to everyone out there watching it. Please, please, please subscribe the channel and share among the other fellow PhD and also look out the other themes that I have in the blog 28. Uh, it's not only for PhDs, it's also for sharing my international experiences with all the researchers out there, the international students that want to come to Netherlands, Europe, and who want to come to Netherlands for working, every other thing. I also have some uh, recent food videos which will be, uh, you might have already seen them in the channel by the time the week 20 is published. So don't uh, hesitate, please, please subscribe. I need subscribe. I mean, the visibility of the channel will be there and then it will motivate me to put content out there. You know, like I'm doing a PhD. So doing a PhD, if you don't support me and uh, I'm taking out my precious time for making these vlogs, then there is no purpose. Like you are also missing out on quality content of uh, knowing about the process, what goes on and I am also like losing my interest if that happens. So please uh, check the video below and subscribe. So today's theme of discussion is that uh, very early in the PhD or maybe too late in the PhD, people always run into a real challenge like uh, affect their working style or maybe their experiments or maybe their uh, way of working and other kind of things. So definitely one, once you will be once or multiple times, uh, you will run into those real challenges. So that is what the today's video is about. Like uh, what are the uh, bottlenecks or the roadblock that people find during a PhD. So it's very interesting to know about the bottleneck or the roadblock. That is the first authentic challenge that I had during my PhD, which has not been solved yet. So this was already lingering for a few weeks back, but now I had to tackle it to proceed with my experiments. So I won't go into the technical details, but I'll just describe it briefly. So it's like, uh, in my one of my experiments initially I need to set up uh, multiple audio inputs like uh, I need to in a group setting I need to get inputs from multiple microphones and then I need to process those multiple inputs through one computer or PC uh, simultaneously in real time to give them some kind of a real time feedback like how much time each speaker is speaking or I mean each audio input will be for each speaker. That is how we are going to do it. So we don't find, I mean, considering I'm running on Windows, we don't find uh, a authentic software which can solve this. I mean, this is just a high level overview of what is my real challenge now. Uh, but the thing is that you run into these kind of things, maybe early, maybe late. Uh, I run into my first authentic roadblock, like exactly you can say it's like one and a half years after my PhD. So what I feel uh, to tackle it is like you keep on searching. Google is your best friend, obviously. Uh, so you keep on searching in Google. The thing is like you cannot get impatient. You need to have faith in yourself. You should not lose faith on you. Always people say like when they give positive talk or motivation, you cannot lose faith on your own self. When you start losing confidence on your own self, then everything starts to crumble around you. So that's the important thing. Like you cannot uh, lose faith on yourself. 
just go ahead search in google for different solutions that you might find maybe in code or maybe some hardware solution in my case and then try to implement some of them i mean like suppose you find solution a then try to implement solution a and see if it works if it doesn't work then go for solution b just don't see around all these solutions like a b c d e f and just think in your mind like okay i will do this that that then it will be like a mess so it's better to like uh, think about or find a solution online and when you find something and think that this might work in your context then try to implement that try to work it out like maybe if it is a mathematical one then try to work it out on a paper or maybe try to work it out on a computer if you are coding uh, so that always helps like putting words into action as early as possible is always a good approach when you are stuck in such kind of a, a roadblock or bottleneck so take my words into action and see how it will benefit you and share this advice among all the peers and all the phds out there and again don't forget to subscribe and share my channel and please hit the thumbs up if you like the video and even if you don't like the video then also hits the thumbs up so that it's free week 21 with a fresh new phd experience until then Peace out and enjoy your evening or day. Bye-bye.